Sharon Ishino, the slain lover of Migri Governor Okothobodo, was not meant to die alone. The campus student and mother of three was to die with more than three others, we can now reveal. The director of criminal investigations DCI boss George Kanotai says plotters of Sharon's murder had planned to kill some of those involved in the murder to cover up the crime. Kanotai told The Standard that, between three to five people who knew about Sharon's murder were to be killed. Luckily, we uncovered the conspiracy. Governor Obado is one of the suspects who has been arraigned in court over the murder. At least six people have been linked to the gruesome murder of the former Rongo University student, who was seven months pregnant with Obodo's baby at the time of her killing. Besides Obodo, his aides at the county, Michael Oimo and Caspala Bayero, bodyguard Elvis Omendi, taxi driver Jack Gomb and former Kanyadoto MCA Lawrence Miller, have also been charged with the murder. Three other suspects are still at large. According to Kenotai, after Sharon's killing, the next step was to eliminate some of those involved. But since her execution involved many parties, the case might be easier to solve, because, according to Kenotai, there is no mystery in a murder involving many people. A murder case that is complex to crack is often the one that involves only one individual. Mobile phone data helped police to link the suspects to the murder after Sharon's body was found on September 4, a day after she was abducted alongside journalist Barack Hodua. Call logs from one of the suspects indicated that he was in Kissy Town on the night Sharon was abducted. The suspect allegedly drove to the scene then left Sharon in the hands of her killers. There are claims that a taxi driver turned witness, drove to Oyuji's police station and informed officers about what he had seen. He is said to have recorded a statement, though the OCS James Maguire could not corroborate the claims.